Hi all, this is Hitman and uh, this time you are watching a tutorial about Golden Ratio. Uh, you all probably heard about the Golden Ratio and it's uh, used a lot in uh, photography and uh, design. Golden Ratio is a state between two quantities where the ratio is the same as the ratio of their sum to the larger of two quantities. So um, I will show you in this tutorial how to, uh, how to get uh, this uh, ratio uh, that you can use in web design, log design and uh, other design photography stuff. So this is the mathematical formula. It's called phi and uh, the final value of the ratio is 1.61. So if you have uh, some object uh, that uh, you can mark as a quantity uh, with the value 1, uh, the ratio the golden ratio you get uh, between two objects when you multiply that uh, quantity by 1.61 1, 1 so um, this is uh, using a golden ratio with a Fibonacci sequence it's uh, the, the easiest way to get the approximate value of the golden ratio so I will show you how to make this and uh, uh, that you can uh, use later in, in design So, you draw a circle that's, let's say, 200 pixels. Okay. And we draw a rectangle, it's about 100 pixels. So, let's just do this. You uh, you should uh, use smart guides to get precise drawing, and uh, you use Pathfinder uh, to be more precise. Divide and uh, cl uh, right click and ungroup. You delete the all all the necessary unnecessary parts. This is a tricky stuff. So maybe I will have some problems to Ah, okay. We we got the part of the spiral of the Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio. Um, we said that the Fibonacci in Fibonacci sequence uh, the quantity uh, of the next value equals the sum of the previous two values. So in the Fibonacci sequence, the values are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, etc. So if this is, if this has value of uh, 100 pixels in width and height, the next value is still 100 pixels, or let's just say 1. Why? Because uh, the sum of uh, the 1 and the previous number, 0, is 1, so the next uh, number in the sequence is still 1. So you do aligning with the smart guides. Next, you hold the Alt key on the keyboard and you copy like that you hold the shift to uh, rotate it to 45 or 90 degrees precise and uh, this time the sum of the previous two is 1 plus 1 is 2 so we transform it and we make it 200 by 200 pixels we get the next value we aligned it So we get the next value. The next value is the sum of the previous two. So 1 plus 2 is 3 and so on. You just make that sum. The next is aligning. Since this is the part that is this has value 300, the previous part 
has the value of 200, the next part will be 500 by 500 pixels. And the next part is 300 plus 500, it's 800 pixels. And that is Fibonacci sequence. The interesting part is that Fibonacci sequence works only uh, a, with the numbers 5 or 8 and above. Uh, so, uh, to be more precise, I will use the calculator and uh, if you divide 8 with 5, you get that 1.6, but if you uh, divide uh, 1, sorry, 2 by 1, that's still not the, uh, the golden ratio, so uh, the Fibonacci sequence works uh, approximately uh, with the value 8 and above. So if you have uh, the next value in the Fibonacci sequence is 13, you divide it by, by the previous value 8, you still get 1.6 and uh, its approximate golden ratio. This is how you uh, get the golden ratio. It's the most easiest way to get the almost precise irrational number of the phi. So how do you use it? You can use it in web design to make uh, uh, to make uh, various uh, parts of the web page and uh, their relation, uh, their ratio. Uh, you can make it more precise if you draw rectangles like this. You'll see it all fits. So this rectangle is. 100 by 100, just like this curve. So you just out, hold out and shift and do like this, and you'll get like this. And you continue to hold out and shift to make that intersect. And if you hold out, you will get the perfect alignment here. And you do this for all the next and uh, you get I um, I made a mistake some, somewhere, I don't know where, but uh, this is how you make that golden ratio using Fibonacci sequence and uh, if you use it in web design or logo design or any kind of design, uh, you use this uh, as a guidelines to make a part of elements or objects. So, uh, in if you uh, if you see uh, you can um, for example do a profile picture uh, here and uh, the part where you uh, in let's say gaming profile you uh, you uh, you write here about uh, maybe name username and here you can uh, use uh, some values and levels etc and here are uh, it's uh, it's just like an uh, outline of the parts of the design and it's uh, very useful to know how to get this uh, very easily. Uh, the most uh, the easiest way is uh, using the Fibonacci sequence. So I hope this helped you in any way using or drawing it. So let's... Uh, <coughs> See you in the next tutorial. Bye.